Okay, so it's Brighton away this this weekend then, Dougie. Um, what do you know about Sammy Hippie? It's obviously his first time in charge of a team in English football. Yeah, he's, what kind of things are you expecting from his side? Well, listen, I know he's had, he's, he's, he's obviously uh, managed at other, other clubs in Europe. He's uh, Brighton are a good team. They have had three or four managers in the last four or five years and they've kept to the same philosophy in the recruitment process. Uh, he's always kept at the same at the same pace. You know, I do know they've lost one or two players, but they've also recruited fantastically well. Uh, and he's even his last night recruiting the young boy Bennett from Aston Villa. So I expect them to be uh, full of confidence from the night the game before. And expect him to play in a certain shape and a certain pattern that we've worked on. And you spoke about Bennett, is there any other players that stand out for you in that squad that maybe well, pose a real threat to you? No, well the, the thing is they've, they've, they've had the same sort of squad together for four or five years you know, the, and, and the boy Mikel Smith's coming back into a little bit of fitness as well so they are very strong. We just feel that you know, we, we've got the capabilities of keeping the, keeping the game tight and we've got the capabilities the way our two strike, the strikers are playing right now if, if, if they're, always, they're always capable of scoring a goal. And, and like you said, you touched on it just before, you, after the Middlesbrough result, you've got another chance to, to, to kind of yeah, make up for it straight away. That's what you? happens in football, you know, you got, I mean, you've been in it as long as I have, you understand you've got to move forward very quickly There's, uh, and because the games are so tight, it could go either way. You know, you're giving yourself an opportunity and a chance to win the games, and I'm sure that will happen tomorrow. And after that, it's crew as well. No time to rest for you guys. On There's Tuesday. never any time to rest. Nine months. Uh, that's what happens in nine months. And you guys keep on asking me another yeah. tough one. You'll be saying that in October. You'll be saying it in March. It's a tough, tough decision. Uh, division. Uh, always has been uh, physically demanding and, and mentally, mentally draining for the players at times as well because they've got to keep on going. But. I feel we've got the right kind of characters at the football club to take that challenge on board. You feel like the players are, are relishing this sort of quick turnaround? Then? Yeah, they, well, as I say, they've got the right kind of characters. You've got to have the right mentality. You know, you've got to have players that understand uh, the division they're in and understand that you know bumps and bruises are part and parcel of being uh, in the championship, and that's what's certainly happening. And after the Middlesbrough game, did everyone come out okay? How are we yeah, everybody's good. Everybody's good. We've got. Uh, Kevin McNaughton will miss tomorrow's match. He had a slight strain in his hamstring. Uh, apart from that, everybody's good to go. We welcome Dean Moxie back into the squad. How, how refreshing is it to have Dean back? Yeah, know? good, good. He's, no, he's, it's been a bit unfortunate. He got a kick, if anything, that bought me his foot against Watford 10 minutes into his, his, his debut. So he'll be around to go tomorrow. And, and Kevin, you, you spoke about just before, yeah, is just it not few, too serious? No, it's not too serious. I could risk him, but I don't think when you talk about hamstrings, there's a few fibres in there. I don't think we can risk him with three games in a week. I just feel you're asking for trouble there, so I've got to be uh, on the side of caution on that one.